Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action here in Brooklyn, New York. Once again, it is all brought to you by TGB Promotions, DSG Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook and Brooklyn Boxing. Our three judges ringside for this bout are John Basili, Alan Nace, and Don Trella. And the referee in charge of the action is Danny Schiavani. Premier Boxing Champions presents 10 rounds in the middleweights division. Introducing first in the red corner wearing the black trunks, he weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. His record stands 17 victories, including 11 wins by knockout, opposite of three defeats and one draw. Representing San Bernardino, California, here is Joshua Younger Conley. And now introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner wearing the teal with gold trim. He weighed in at an even 160 pounds. His record stands 13 victories, including 10 wins by knockout, opposite of four defeats. Representing Brooklyn, New York by way of Ukraine, he is a former world title challenger. Here is Sergey, the technician, Dervianchenko. Once, Once again, the referee in charge of the action is Danny Shiavani. All right, fellas, we went over the rules in the dressing room. And Spitzer, obey my commands at all times. Keep the bout clean. Touch him up. Go back to corners. Good luck. Okay, so it is Sergei Deryachenko and Joshua Conley. For Sergei Deryachenko, he has lost three in a row. And there is this question about Deryachenko. Is he on the back nine of his career? The losses that he has has been to quality opposition two world championship opportunities one to Gennady Golovkin back nearly three years ago then in September of 2020 a unanimous decision loss at the hands of Jamal Charlo and most recently on December 5 of last year a majority decision loss at the hands of Carlos Adamas so round one scheduled for 10 how will he fare against a guy in Joshua Conley, who when he has stepped up in competition, hasn't fared too well. So could this be a case where Deryachenko is ripe for the picking and Conley can get the biggest win on his dossier, or will Deryachenko get back in the win column and start to sort of gain some of his confidence back because of the fact that he hasn't won in over three years. That victory coming against Jack Kolke back in April of 2019. Make no mistake about it, Derichenko is always willing to test himself against the best in the division. But there was a thought process that it was a very close fight against him and Gennady Golovkin back in October of 2019. That took place at the theater of Madison Square Garden in Manhattan, just over the bridge here in from Brooklyn, where we are here at Barclays Center. 90 seconds left here in the first round. Connolly looking to stay busy and for Connolly I think it's advantageous for him to utilize his athleticism Danny Schiavone warning them about uh, leading with the head I think it is advantageous for Connolly to try to use his athleticism but you know I would say that Derry Chico looks in very good shape he's always in good shape but he looks to be a little bit leaner here in this fight You know, typically he is, he has a lot of muscle mass up top. But he looks to be a little bit leaner. I believe there is a cut above the eye of Deryachenko. Yes, there is. There's a cut on the eye of Deryachenko. I wonder if that was from a clash of heads or from a punch. And that's very important for this reason. Under the unified rules, according to the Association of Boxing Commissions, a... Uh, fight is official after four rounds have been completed and if it was caused because of a butt it would be ruled a no contest if it is deemed that Derry Chico cannot continue if it's caused from a punch then it would be a TKO victory for Joshua Conley so that is something that we need to pay attention to in between rounds here from referee in charge Danny Chavon. 
And there is a, there you would see is the clash of heads. And again, Fellas, watch those heads. So I just got word from the Athletic Commission, the New York State Athletic Commission, which is a very quality commission here in the United States, that the cut from that Danny Pacheco suffered was caused from a butt. So it would appear as if they got the bleeding under control, but the reason why it was such a point of emphasis from my standpoint is because of the fact, because it was caused by a butt, if four rounds are not completed, then it will be a no decision. So if it was caused because of a punch, it could swing the way of Conley because he was the one that inflicted the cut because of the punch, but a headbutt. So if four rounds are not completed, it goes to the scorecards, but thankfully it would appear as if Dariuchenko's corner man and his cut man has the bleeding under control at least for the foreseeable future. A little bit of blood streaming from that eye a little bit, but doesn't appear to be impairing his vision enough to call the fight off. Back to action we go here as a minute has elapsed in the second round. Wherever you are around the world, we thank you so much for joining us. Rick Flores, honored to be with you. My esteemed producer, Sam Rubinoff, always doing a stellar job no matter where we are all over the world as we are approaching the midway portion of the second round. Good to see Sergey Deryunchenko back inside the ring. This is a guy that has had a bit of bad luck and things that were close but didn't go his way. He had a very tough fight, a quality performance against Jamal Charlo back in September of 2020. Came up short against Gennady Golovkin in October of 2019. Good body work by Deryunchenko. Left hook that snaps back the head of Conley. Conley steps in with the left hook. Connolly looking to get on his jab and Derry Chico looking to cut off the ring. Double jab there by Sergey Derryuchenko. Final 30 plus seconds, good right hand as Dariachenko aggressive. So the thought process, and there was a, a sediment around the boxing world on how much does Sergei Dariachenko have left. And at 36 years of age, with the kind of battles that he's been in, how will he be able to fare against a guy in Joshua Connolly who, when he stepped up in competition, hasn't done well, but if he loses to Joshua Connolly, then you would think that, okay, four losses in a row, may be time to call it a career, but Derry Chico looks to be a bit renewed with the sense of youthfulness about him, and this is his first fight of 2022.
on to round three. This one is scheduled for 10. Sergei Deryachenko, the two-time world title challenger, 13 and four, 10 knockouts. He's lost three in a row. Also, I mean, the losses that he's had, think about it. Carlos Adamas, majority decision. Jamal Charlie, unanimous decision. Gennady Golovkin, a split decision loss at the hands of Daniel Jacobs. So, nothing wrong with losing close fights, especially against the likes of the guys that he stepped inside the ring with. Good jab by Derevchenko as he tries to plod forward. Meantime, for Joshua Conley, I think what he needs to do is he just needs to be busy. He needs to be of the mindset that, look, I'm the younger guy. I'm the fresher guy. I haven't taken as much damage as Derevchenko has. Let me try to be busy and pester this guy with my jab. Let me showcase my athleticism. And let me just try to outwork Sergei Derevchenko. And as he steps forward, tries to put together combinations, does Conley. But the one thing about Conley, when you are aggressive, which I would suggest against Derevchenko, you have to worry about what's going to be thrown back at you because Derevchenko is such a powerful hitter. But a nice right uppercut on the inside by Joshua Conley, just over the midway point of the third round. Derevchenko looking to answer back. Conley shakes his head as to say, nope, not affecting me whatsoever. Derevchenko looking to get close and looking to muscle and drive Conley against the perimeter of the ring to be able to do some work. Step back, step back, step back. And Danny Chavon will separate the two combatants. 60 seconds left in the third. Good left hook on the inside by Derevchenko. Conley throws a right hand that misses as Derevchenko gets out of the way. Final moments of the third round between Sergey Derevchenko and Joshua Conley. We're on to the fourth. Time being called now. There is blood in the right ear of Derevchenko. Yeah, Derevchenko doesn't seem to be hurt Time or in. affected whatsoever. He's kind of shook his head as to say, no, I can still fight. He's not even grimacing whatsoever. You could tell that it's not affecting him. That or Derevchenko just has a very good poker face. And Conley tries to get hyper aggressive as we commence round four. This one is scheduled for 10. Sergey Derevchenko, known as the technician,
right hand over the top that misses by Conley. Oh. Oh. The right hand that caught Derry Chico as he came forward. Back, step back, step back, step back. Let's go. No punches. Neither man really doing anything significant in this fourth round. Danny Chavaud will step in between the two and separate them. Good right to the body by Conley. You heard that here at a broadcast position. Good right uppercut by Conley. He's starting out work. Oh, right hand that wobbled Derry Chico, but it could have been a case where Derry Chico was just off balance. Chopping right hand by Conley. Coming up about a minute to go here in the fourth. A lot of wrestling on the early going on the inside. Left hook to the body by Derry Chico. Connolly looking to separate. And now they go right back on the attack. Derry Chico with his jab. Derby Chico stalking him around the ring. Under 30 seconds left here in the fourth. A right to the body by Derby Chico. Danny Chabon warning both about pushing off. Final moments of the fourth. Right hand, a crushing right hand as we head towards the fifth. On to round five, I would have to say that so far it has been a largely uneventful fight so far. I'd probably give the edge to Derinchenko, but to be honest, neither man is really making an indelible impression. I think Derinchenko has proven that he still is lively, but have his skills diminished? You would have to say to a degree, yes, because he doesn't seem to be as powerful as he once was. He doesn't seem to be as fast as he once was, but his determination and his will is certainly there. But as you get into the middle to late 30s as a prize fighter, it's just natural that the law of physics work against you, which is why fighters that go into their 40s, it is a rare commodity in prize fighting. But Derichenko, nice right hand to the body, is still, oh, down goes Conley, but that was a slip, but I could see a case where Conley could be affected by that right hand to the body from Derichenko. Now we have some action. I think Derichenko knows that he has Conley, Conley hurt. Now he's going right back on the attack, and Conley sort of languishing on the ropes, and now this is where Derichenko, boy, would this be nice for him to go out there and get a stoppage and get his first win since dating back to that of April of 2019. 
He's swarming Connolly, looking to hammer him away. Now this could be the Sergey Derichenko of old, where he goes out and he tries to get the finish. Of his 13 wins, 10 of them have been by knockout or TKO. Conley seemed to be in some trouble as we have 75 seconds to go here in the fifth okay. round. Double jab followed by a right hand from Darius Chico, but back comes Conley. A right to the body by Darius Chico. See, this is the Darius Chico that we remember that sort of won the attention and the admiration from fight fans all over the world because he was aggressive, because he comes from that well that lengthy Ukrainian school of boxing with a deep amateur career, but transitioned it to being a successful pro by being offensive and being dangerous. All that took to the body that backs up Conley. This is the Dario Chenko that we were hoping to see. This is the Dario Chenko that we saw in spurts against Carlos Adamas, but this is the kind of Sergei Dario Chenko that needs to be present in order for him to try to get back into the title picture here at 160. And Darius Chico just pounding away on Conley. Conley grimacing from that body attack from the Ukrainian. A left hook to the body by Darius Chico. And a right. We head towards the second half for the fight. Conley had some trouble from the body attack from Sergei Darius Chico. Taking a look at where the slip was. There's the right to the body. Okay, let's see where the slip came. I didn't see a slip at all. I know Danny Chavon said there was a slip, but I think he might have blown that call. If we could take a look at it again, potentially. Let's take a look at it again as Conley breathing heavy. Okay, here we see, okay. Boom, the right to the body. The feet are not getting tangled up. Still no feet get tangled up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A right to the body. Delayed reaction. And then he just went down to the canvas. That, to me, was a knockdown. That referee in charge, Danny Chavon, missed. It's unfortunate. The feet did not get tangled up at any point of the sequence. And Conley went down, he ate two right hands to the body. That second one was a delayed reaction, but guess what? From a body shot standpoint, that happens. On to the sixth round, this one's scheduled for 10, but again, look, being a referee inside that ring, you have to make a quick judgment call, and sometimes you aren't necessarily 100% perfect, but that was something that Danny Chabon did miss. To the sixth round we go, we'll see if Derek Chico can go out there and get the finish here because he certainly had his best round to date in that fifth stanza. Good to see Rolando Roly Romero in the house. Roly in the house. Happy birthday, everybody. I want to let everybody know it's your birthday. You're king, you're queen. You all deserve presents every day. All right, Roly Romero joining us, ladies and gentlemen, here at Rickside. You never know what you're going to get here at Barclay Center. As a minute has come off the clock here in the sixth round. Good to hear from Roly Romero. Boy, he made that ring walk here against Trevante Davis back on Memorial Day weekend. What an event that was. The highest gross seat event in the history of Barclays Center for prize fighting. But back to action we go with Sergey Derichenko. Derichenko and Connolly, they are mixing it up. This sixth round has certainly gotten quite a bit uh, you know, we're seeing some action here. You never know what you're going to see here at Barclays Center. Good bit prize fights. There's a right to the body by Sergei Deryuchenko. Deryuchenko's body attack starting to affect Joshua Conley. There's a right to the body that backed up Conley. And again, Darius Chico two. That's the third right hand that affected Joshua Conley to the body. And now Darius Chico is starting to bust up Conley. Now Sergey Darius Chico is starting to turn back the clock and revisit his old successful ways. 
Get him out, get him out. There's a left hook to the body by Sergei Dervyachenko. Step back, step back. Final moments of the sixth round. This one is scheduled for 10. A right to the ear by Dariachenko. But then he got clipped with a left hook on the inside from Conley to the seventh we go. Seven, this one's scheduled for 10. Sergei Dervyachenko and Joshua Conley. Dervyachenko has lost three in a row, hasn't gotten a win since April of 2019, a win over Joshua or Jack Colcane. Joshua Conley, on the other hand, has won three straight against limited opposition, but most notably his recent victory over former world title contender Curtis Stevens. But that was a ill-fated Curtis Stevens. But Derevyuchenko likely ahead on the scorecards with his authoritative punching. And he's landing the cleaner, bigger shots. There's a left hook that missed Conley. on the midway point of the seventh round between Sergei Dervyachenko and Joshua Conley. Still to come, we got our triple header tonight. Gary Antoine Russell, Rances Bartholomew, the two division world champion. Also, the return of the baby-faced assassin, Adam Kovnatsky, who will match up against Ali Arena de Medicine. And in our main event, Danny Garcia takes on Jose Benavides Jr. Garcia away from the ring. For 19 months, making his super welterweight debut, left hook upstairs by Conley to catch the attention of Derviachenko. Let him out, let him out, let him out. Come on, keep your head up. Under a minute left here in round seven. Sergey Dariachenko chasing Conley around the ring. There's a left or a jab to the midsection by Dariachenko. Under 30 seconds left here in the seventh. Dariachenko looking, trying to pick his shots. There's a left followed by a right, but a sneaky right uppercut by Conley that caught the attention of Jerry Ruchenko.
We are on to round number eight. This one is scheduled for 10 between Joshua Conley and Sergei Deryachenko. Deryachenko, who is a two-time world title contender, the Ukrainian amateur standout, who has had a successful pro career, but when he stepped up amongst elite competition, narrow losses at the end to Jamal Charlo, Gennady Golovkin. Also came up short against Carlos Adamas in his recent outing back in December at what is now called Crypto.com Arena. That was the Staples Center in Los Angeles. And about four years ago, a split decision loss at the hands of Daniel Jacobs as well. There's a right to the body by Sergei Deryachenko. And Danny Chavon warning Joshua Conley about putting his punches up. Midway point of the eighth round between Sergei Deryachenko and Joshua Conley. There's a right for Conley. As Deryachenko looking to stay busy here. For Derry Chico, this is the kind of fight that I think that he needs in terms of a way to try to boost his confidence because he literally went through the meat grinder of having three very tough fights in recent memory. And amongst the quality of opposition, I mean, you look at his last three fights, Gennady Golovkin, Jamal Charlo, Carlos Adamas. Now, mind you, he's been only fighting once a year or he fought twice a year, fought twice in 2019. Now some action here as Conley and Derby Chico looking to mix it up as Derby Chico looking to load upon Conley. But you had the pandemic in the midst of all that. So, you know, just one fight in 2020, one fight last year. And I'm sure that if he's successful tonight against Joshua Conley, that he wants to have another fight before the end of the year. We are nearing the end of round eight. This one's scheduled for 10. Between Sergey Derbyacheco and Joshua Conley. And the cut streaming outside the left thigh of Derbyacheco. We're headed to the ninth. Round nine, this one's scheduled for 10 between Sergei Deryachenko and Joshua Conley. As Deryachenko likely ahead on the cards against Joshua Conley. Deryachenko looking to stay busy here as we head towards the final two rounds. Stop. And Denis Chavon steps in between the two and then separates them. We have a triple header on the way between, uh, to start off, we'll have Gary Antoine Russell matching up against the two division world champion. 
Francis Bartholomew. Bartholomew's never been stopped in his career. Gary Antoine Russell looking to become the first one to do it. Our co-main event in the heavyweight division. Adam Kownatsky, the Polish heavyweight, who has a lot of fanfare, but he's lost twice at the hands of Robert Hellenius. He looks to get back in the win column as he will take on Ali Eden at the medicine. And in our main event, it'll be Danny Swift Garcia making his super welterweight debut at 154. He'll put his skills to the test against Jose Benavidez Jr., the older brother of David Benavidez, the super middleweight champion. Jose Benavidez Jr. trained by his father, Jose Sr. But right now we are here in this middleweight matchup between Sergey Deryacheco and Joshua Conley. 70 seconds left here in the ninth. Conley tying up with Deryacheco. Good right to the body by Derviachinko. As we are in the final minute of this ninth round, as Derviachinko with the right to the body, followed by a left Conley hurt. Conley backing up against Derviachinko. Derviachinko certainly has taken over, especially in the second half of the fight. He had a solid fifth round. And now he has been really in control ever since that fifth round. Conley at this point might be in survival mode. And he ties up with Derviachenko. Final stages of the ninth. We head towards the tenth. and fight around here between Sergey Deryachenko and Joshua Conley. Deryachenko, who has been in control against Conley, especially from that fifth round on. And uh, Deryachenko likely in line to get his first win since dating back to that of April of 2019. Let's go. Joshua Conley, on the other hand, his three-fight win streak is up for grabs and likely will go by the wayside if he can't turn things around in an impressive fashion. Double jab there between the two. Now Conley, he might have Dario Chico hurt a little bit. Maybe Dario Chico could have been off balance, something along those lines. Right to the body by... Deryachenko. A minute has come off the clock here in the 10th round. This one is scheduled for, this is the 10th and final round. We'll see what Deryachenko and Connolly elect to do in this final round as Sergei Deryachenko and Joshua Connolly go at it. Midway point of the 10th. Good left hook upstairs by Derby Chica, followed by a right. 70 seconds remaining in the 10th and final round.
Double left hook by Derviachenko. There's a right to the body by Derviachenko. Derviachenko went southball for a brief moment. So we have under 30 seconds left here in the 10th. Final moments of the 10th and final round. And we head towards the scorecards. Joshua Conley, the 30-year-old, gave a solid effort, but I think he could have done more. He's going to look back at this and probably think and be of the mindset that, listen, if I would have pressed the issue more, maybe things would have gone differently for Sergei Derevchenko. It was the kind of opposition that he needed in order to prove that he still has something left as a prize fighter. Henry Ramirez there with his trainer. For Sergei Deryachenko, 36 years of age, trying to prolong his career as an elite prize fighter. Likely his three fight losing streak will be snapped, barring anything significant from a judge's standpoint. So the come tonight, we got the super welterweight debut of Danny Swift Garcia at 154. He's been away from the ring for 19 months. The two division world champion will step inside the ring against Jose Benavides Jr. Garcia of Puerto Rican descent, Benavides of Mexican heritage. So theoretically, the rivalry between Mexico and Puerto Rico will be renewed in our main event a few hours from now. And the crowd begins to file in here to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn for what should be a fun triple header. And uh, Sergei Derevchenko and uh, Joshua Conley. The ring announcer, my brother Miguel Flores, has the scorecards. And now, to make it all official, we send it up to our ring announcer. Here's Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judges Alan Nace and Don Trella both saw the contest 99 to 91. And Judge John Basili saw the contest 98 to 92. All three judges in agreement for your winner by unanimous decision. Sergey, the technician, Dervianchenko. Sergey Dermianchenko with the unanimous decision victory. It was the kind of bounce back bite that he needed and he gets back in the wind column for the first time since dating back to that of April of 2019. So congratulations to Sergey Dermianchenko. His three fight losing streak now is in the distance as he gets back in the wind column for Joshua Conley. His three fight win streak goes by the wayside. The Ukrainian obviously very happy and pleased. The sense of relief for him and his team, Derevchenko, gets the W here tonight in Brooklyn.